Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how I managed to level from 46 to 52. You can actually go all the way to 54 if you want to in here. All right, so first thing first, when you get in here, there is this Hydra. You need to either use a less invisibility potion to get past, or you can do as I show you here in the video, you can kill it. It's pretty pretty easy to kill, so why not? It's another 6-700 extra XP and it takes basically no time. All you really have to do is just kite it with the Frostbolt, uh, Fire Blast and uh, do the Nova and such. It, it's pretty easy to kill. However though, it has a really big hitbox and it has this Thrash ability. So if you get too close, you can get pretty hardly hit. So avoid getting hit. Anyways, when you come to this place here, you can see the first pull we're gonna eventually do. Uh, keep up the ice barrier and then just start pulling like I do here. Use the counter spell for the second pack. When this first pack comes close to you, you do the um, Cone of Cold. And then what I usually do is I thrust over this pack right here. It gives you some distance. This pack usually body pulls, of course, when I record it, it did. So I had to kind of save it up here by doing a rank 1 blizzard, kind of cold the pack behind me. Body pull the last pack here and go into the block. Usually you have the ice berry up when you go into the block, but unfortunately for me, it didn't happen since there was this minor mistake with the pull that didn't happen. With the pull that didn't happen basically. So when you reach this spot here, it's basically a win. All you have to do now is just blizzard them down. It's really, really simple and it's very easy. You can also do the arcane explosion and kind of cold uh, part where you just, you know, keep all the mobs in a tight pack, do the kind of cold and uh, arcane explosion them down. All right, so I managed to find this really, really awesome add-on, which I decided to show you guys. So especially for a mage when you farm a lot as i do uh, you often get some items you don't want and instead of spending a lot of time deleting those manually you can see my add-on here it recognizes a name i typed in and it just automatically deletes it it's very nice if you ask me so for the next pull you can use the evocation or you can just drink up and use the evocation it would be handy later on However, the second pull only consists of two packs of snakes and it's very, very easy to do. Again, you can do the Cone of Cold and Arcane Explosion technique if you prefer that. I'm gonna show you what I like to call the safe way using the Frost Nova into Blizzard because you have a lot of distance and yeah, it's just really easy for anyone to, to be able to do basically. So as you can see, I just max rank Blizzard and I basically killed them. It's pretty easy. The experience is really, really good. However, as I mentioned before, these mobs, they have a tendency to drop a lot of bad items, which uh, fills a lot up in the backs, but uh, it's worth nothing really. So just delete that and get the add-on. All right, continue down the, down, continue down the uh, hallway and you'll reach this spot. When you are at these spots, these, um, these nice little turtles, they uh, don't pull, um, so to say, because they are friendly to you, I guess. So you have to manually do this by using rank 1 Frostbolt, as I do here. So after you put rank 1 Frostbolt on all of them, just um, uh, blink away, and then you can pull these two. By now, the first mobs, they should have uh, reached you, and you can just do a 360 and kind of cool them. Or at least a 180, sorry. Anyway, reaching this pack, um, yeah, again, kind of cold, pull them with whatever technique you have. And then what I like to do is I go into my block here. I wait for all the mobs to stack up. As you can see, the last mobs come here. I wait for most of them to hit. I get out of the block and I instantly thrust over them all. And then I just start my rotation of blizzarding. This is a very, very nice farm. It yields you about 15 to 17k per run. I think you can get up to about 80k XP an hour by doing this. Every run, ta every run takes you about like 7-8 minutes perhaps when you get good at it. 
So if you are too fast, you can eventually go even further in and kill some more mobs in there. Anyways, you can do the camp macro and reset the dungeon and that's it. Thank you for watching, remember to sub and all that jazz. See you.